According to a new poll, one group remains unwavering in their support of Donald Trump, white evangelical Christians. It may seem surprising, considering that he treats the Ten Commandments less like rules from God and more like a sexy to-do list. But it's true. He prefers his burning bushes Brazilian style. The... He does. The evangelical base is important to Donald Trump, which is why last year he created a federal task force called the Faith and Opportunity Initiative. He's appointed Paula White, his longtime spiritual advisor, to lead it. And folks, she is really something. Wherever I go, God rules. When I walk on White House grounds, God walks on White House grounds. I think so many people have taken biblical scriptures out of context on this mm -hmm. to say stuff like, well, Jesus was a refugee, and yes, he did live in Egypt for three and a half years, but it was not illegal. If, it, if he had broke the law, then he would have been sinful, and he would not have been our Messiah. Five types of women that men tend to avoid. Five types of women. Serial flirters, someone who talks about marriage too soon, clingy women, the party girl, and a woman who talks too much or is a drama queen. Those are literally all my favorite people. <laughs> Mitch Albom's lesser-known inspirational novel, The Five Best Bitches You Meet in Hell. <laughs> Paula White is a televangelist because, of course, Trump loves hiring people he sees on TV. His original pick for chief of staff was Grimace, but Stephen Miller was unwilling to hire a person of color. <laughs> Trump's hiring of White has drawn criticism from other religious leaders, and in 2007, White's church was investigated by the Senate over its outrageous expenditures and her lavish lifestyle. Senator Charles Grassley again asked four high-profile ministers to turn over their financial records to the Senate amid allegations that they had misused church funds to enrich themselves. Televangelists rake in hundreds of millions of dollars a year in charitable donations. Randy and Paula White of the Without Walls International Church in Tampa Florida. Former staffers say the Whites sometimes took cash from uncounted donations, misused church funds for personal expenses, even pressured the faithful to take equity out of their homes. Don't think of it as your mortgage being underwater. Think of it as your house being baptized. <laughs> Some people credit Paula White with converting Trump to Christianity or whatever this is. I could preach for my foot right now because Dr. Brody just took my foot and broke it in four or five places. It's all separated. I was like, how in the world did you do that? That thing is all narrow and look and it's going to fit back in those high heels and I'm going to be wearing about nine inch high heels instead of six inch. Well, I prophesy to him every day, bone come back together in the name of Jesus. Bunyan, you gone. Come on, knobbly toes. You even look cute now. What is church for? Perhaps the biggest reason that Trump loves Paula White is that she preaches something known as prosperity gospel, a form of Christianity that claims that God will reward you with financial wealth if you pray hard enough. I'm sorry, I meant pay hard enough. I am speaking prophetically by the Holy Spirit, and you are to sow a $3,000 seed. When you obey the voice of the Lord, and you do what God's telling you to do, you need to send in 35000 You need to send in that $100,000 check. I'm telling you, and God has mandated, if you do not write that P.O. box, and you do not call that toll-free number, and you do not become a ministry of sustainer, you will never see sustainment in your life, and your dream will die. Wait, God has a P.O. box and mailboxes, etc., and a landline? I've lost a lot of respect for God today. Look, if you think prosperity gospel seems like an inversion of most Christians' values, you are not alone. Even other evangelicals think it's a scam. Ole Anthony is the president of the Trinity Foundation. Uh, he's investigated televangelists for 20 years now. It's unbelievable. Somehow the church in America has been hijacked by greed. And it's uh, very, very sad because it's a testimony on how we are not caring for the poor in our country. Would Jesus drive a Bentley? Would Jesus wear a $2,000 suit? I mean, would Jesus buy a, a toilet worth $23,000? Uh, yes. What do you think he was sitting on at the Last Supper? That's why the dude next to him is leaning away. 
White and other prosperity gospel ministers don't have to pay any taxes on their sports cars and luxury goods. Technically, the church owns them, and churches are tax exempt. Meanwhile, worshipers are asked to give everything they've got for a chance at salvation. Cindy Fleener was a believer. We're taught if we don't pay our tithes and give offering and alms that we're robbing God and we're under a curse. Oh, you're right. Someone's definitely getting robbed here, but it's not God. This holy grift was massively successful for Paula White. By the 2000s, her congregation numbered in the tens of thousands, eventually becoming the second largest church in America. White's church took in as much as $150 million between 2004 and 2006, provided her with a private plane, and helped them buy a $3.5 million condo in Trump Tower. It's no surprise that Trump noticed someone getting rich by ripping people off. I got a phone call. He was watching Christian television, and he called up and said, hey, you're fantastic, and repeated almost verbatim three of my sermons. What, what was Trump doing watching Christian television? The only possible explanation is that he accidentally put on a rerun of Touched by an Angel because he thought it was a porn. And... <laughs> Scamming people isn't the only thing Trump and White have in common. They've both been married three times, they've both had financial ups and downs, and they've both spoken in tongues. Venezuela's Nevada. The members of our armed forces. If I, uh, Despite these obstacles, Karen. And an ominous, really an, an ominous. Oh, I can feel the Holy Spirit in him right now. And White is already using her ties to Trump to cash in. White has declined to say if she cut financial ties to her ministry, but she is already back at her church preaching and soliciting donations. You're going to write your checks to Paula White Ministry. Paula White and her scam church shouldn't be within a hundred miles of the White House. Prosperity preachers prey on people who are desperate. They promise miracles to anyone who sends in a check. The more zeros, the better your blessings. But that money only goes toward funding the lifestyles of people who are already privileged. Just like how Trump exploits his base. No, Jesus probably wouldn't spend $23,000 on a toilet, but we all know a guy who has.